Gerhard Kraft has spent his life developing a technique known as iron beam cancer therapy. Using beams of carbon protons, the core part of the atom, he's explored how they can be energized, then used to precisely target tumor cells while sparing the surrounding tissue. The technique proved so effective that 90% of patients with deep-seated brain tumors fully recover. The main interaction with a, with a tissue or with a material around in general is at the end. So you can go somewhere in and do something at the end. It's, it's like a knife which is at the end very sharp and in between you don't see it at all. Particle beams work exceptionally well when they're treating tumours in parts of the body like the brain which can be held absolutely still. But many tumours appear in the body in areas like the lungs or the liver and they're continuously moving inside a patient. That's why scientists here are developing a new technique which actually tracks the movement of the tumour during therapy. They've used a robot to emulate the movement of a lung tumour inside a patient's chest. The particle beam tracks the movement of the cancer and continues to deliver a precise and targeted dose of radiation where it's needed. Going to the real patient, everything becomes more difficult. Because, um, like in the setup here, for example, you could really see from the outside, you could just follow the robot movement and you could see what is happening. Of course, on a patient, the tumor is on the inside, so you can't really see what is going on. Using motion tracking technology, the researchers are developing ways to match the movement of internal organs like the lungs with points on the outside of the body, while continuously checking that the beam is on target. The researchers say the technique, once it's perfected, will cost less than a third the price of chemotherapy, have little or no side effects and be much more effective. If this technology would be more common in the rich countries, it will be cheaper and then it can spread over also to the less rich countries. The machine costs around $120 million but it has the capacity to treat 10,000 people over five years and could be used for treating other conditions, in some cases even replace traditional surgery. The team say the technique demonstrates how advances in particle physics and computer technology can play a part in the ongoing fight against cancer. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera, Darmstadt, Germany.